What's up guys, the Rugby Guru here and today we're doing another fan requested video. It is Japan versus South Africa from the Japan Stadium. So I will be playing as the Springboks Pro Difficulty. Um, as you guys know, Japan is not licensed in this game. So I went ahead and downloaded a fan up created team and then just went ahead and created my own jersey for the japan team so hopefully i did justice with that yeah so let's get into this game guys um japan will be going with the kickoff and here we go made a few changes to the box team as well right so japan's got early possession can the box turn this over japan on the attack it's a bit making a good defensive tackle there. Japan on the attack, just outside the 22. Driving it through, up through the middle. Still on the attack. Now going up to the 22 meter line, we've got an injury. It's Nagare who's injured, a small tiny man. Replaced by another tiny guy in Tanaka. So let's see what the first scrum yields in this game. Six minutes gone. Oh, big scrum from the Japanese. They're going for a little set play here. Let's see what they can do with this. Oh, inside ball to the wing. Not working out so well. But a little snipe from the scrum off. Big tackle from Bonambi. And intercepted by Kitsov. Now Lukanya Am is gone. Just a quick offload to him. Not going to have the legs to go all the way. Now Faf de Klerk out to Mapimpi. Mapimpi beats one and he surely is going to go in for the first try of the game. Well... As much pressure as the Japan team put on the Springbok team. One little turnover and we've got the opening try of the game. Let's have another look at this guys. Well, we're only going to see a part, a partial um, view of this video. The good stuff been left out there I feel. But a pretty decent attempt. And the box are up by five points to nil after just 12 minutes. Andre Pollard converts and it's the box up by seven points. Restart from Yatamure. It's Faf de Klerk taking it up. Now it's a bit. Out to Mapimpi, gives to Pollard, back inside to Fassi, who's joined the line. Now, slow ball coming. Luat de Jager takes it up. Nobody at the back for Japan. And an opportunity here, Dwayne Vermeulen and Mapimpi chasing it down. Good tackle from Fassi. Japan running it from their own 22. Is that the wisest decision? Still they've got possession. Quick hands from the players. Now there's a bit of space. Ooh, but it's a bit made a telling tackle there. And into touch they go. So Pollard assigned to, well, not Pollard. Punambi is going to throw this in excellent timing on that throw Peter stepped it away now Faf de Klerk decided to go down the middle now Bonambi breaks one defender little offload to Pollard now Malherba takes it up to Alendi but it's been intercepted by Japan another turnover ball by Luit de Jager South Africa's got the position here. Now it's a bit making some ground up to the 22 meter line. 
Now Dwayne Vermeulen breaks through one defender. Turnover by Japan. And a high tackle there by Franz Mulherbe. And it's only going to be a penalty at this stage. 29 minutes gone. Yatamura is going to try and relieve some of the pressure. And they go up to halfway. 31 minutes gone. Line out. Throw by Kitare. Stolen by Luit de Jager. Now Peter Stef de Tway. Out to Mapimpi. To the Alendi. Back inside to the Clerk. Gives it out to Etzebet. Now Bonambi. Beats one. Still going. Turnover ball by Japan. Good defense. Japan's got possession on their own 10 meter line. Taken forward. Still possession for Japan, but they're going backwards at the moment. Now Tanaka out to the prop forward there. Now a little bit of space, but a knock on there taken by Vermeulen. Slow ball coming for the spring box. Now it's a bit out to Pollard. He got driven back in the tackle. Cuts off. And we're going back for the knock on there from Japan. But it's going to be half time. So South Africa with only a seven point lead going into the break. They really need to start having a look at their breakdown. Too many turnovers. Unnecessary turnovers from the breakdown. Opportunity here for Japan. The kick down field. Is that too hard? It's going. It's going. It's leaving it. Now collected by Mapimpi. And we are going to have a five meter scrum. Team to have taken it into the dead ball line, which is a wrong decision. But a tight it from the box. Now the clerk going a little snipe on his own. Now Colby. Colby throws a dummy but got hammered in the tackle. And we're going to have a yellow card here for Matsushima. Well not very consistent refereeing at the moment Malherbe were penalized for a similar offense and he only got a warning line out throw now for the spring box on the 10 meter line of Japan another good timing out to Peter Steff the Tway now Lukanya Am he throws it out to Colby with the world of space on his outside. Well, he got defended well. Now Peter stepped it to a takes it up. South Africa getting ready here for a little set play. Pollard. Oh, that didn't go as planned. But um has got it. And it's going to be a try under the posts. So a little kick ahead from Pollard into space sees Lukanya um, scores under the post well not the most uh, adventurous kick ever from Pollard I think it was actually meant for Mapimpi there but um was the lucky one to get the try so 14 points to nil the spring box over Japan at the moment restart by Yatamura taken in by Japan they've got enough support now on the attack just outside the 22 meter line super defense from the spring box driving them back 
and they're just not getting anywhere at the moment now Fuka Fuka has also been injured by a massive tackle from Yerban Etzebeth and Matsuda is going to replace him so the box well on their way to victory here today they've just been superior at scrum time let's see what they can conjure up now another set play coming here now oh it's intercepted by Japan so poor set play there from the Springboks Colissi makes a good tackle so too does Pollard on the attack again is Japan just outside the 22 meter line of the Springboks Superb defense from the box at the moment. Japan not getting anywhere at the moment. The defense holding firm. Fafta Klerk turns it over now. Bonambi gives it to Luat de Jager, who gives it to Pollard. And Colby is going to have a straight run in here, surely. Too easy and the score goes up to 19-0 for the Springboks one must say it's the great defensive display from the box that is turning pressure into points at the moment just a straight run 70 meter straight sprint to the try line there for Colby nobody going to catch him and the box are well and truly clear here at the moment with about 11 minutes to go 21 points to nil it is Japan making some replacements there as well Hilu being replaced by Aivalu and Labaskagni coming on for Leach who's been nowhere in sight today now Tia Lendi nobody home for Japan at the back and it's going to be chased by Colby again they are going to get back in time big defense again from the box turned over by Vermeulen now Peter stepped it away Kitsov takes it up are we going to have another little set play from the spring box here Oh, Pollard loses the ball in, and it's been turned by Japan. Great rush defense from the box at the moment, making it impossible for Japan to make any meters whatsoever. Not giving them a chance at all. One minute to go. just getting tackled back all the time at the moment is Japan trying to do the pick and go which is probably the wrong option for a small pack like this Still not making too much ground at the moment is Japan. Good. Oh, there's another dangerous tackle from Malherba, and again he don't get Sinbin for that. So really poor refereeing today, as Hori replaces. Uh, Kitare as well as Van der Waal leaving the field so they are tapping and going just maybe should take them out of their misery at the moment not really making any ground at the moment is Japan still in their own half of the field now they've got no nah, still not going anywhere springbok defense is holding out fantastically I think they still have this one. 
Oh dear. Turnover ball. Loose pass to Mapimpi. South Africa now has the ball. Are they going to do anything with this? Let's see. Another set play coming up. Colby into the line. Nowhere to go for him. We're already 93 minutes into the game, guys. Now, dear Lendy, out to um, Pollard. He got bashed in the tackle as well. Now, Colby out to Mapimpi. Will he have too much space for them? Oh, a huge tackle there from Matsuda. The box still going strong. Now Fassi out to Yebenetza. Beth is going to go and he's been stopped 10 meters from the line. Now Fafta Clerk out to Pollard who's going to dive over for the fourth try. And South Africa just completely demolishing Japan today. Good on the attack, superb on the defense. Just no way out in the end for this Japan side. Just biding their time for the tries. And Pollard sprinting over there. So we've had a 100 minute game today guys. That's how superior the Springbok defense was at keeping Japan out. 28 points to nil it is. Another thumping victory for the box. Until next time guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.